have to understand that most people are incapable of thinking big. They're pre-programmed by the system to instill limits on themselves. People are gonna nag you, they're gonna discourage you, they're gonna criticize you, they're gonna hate on you to try and get you to quit. Your success serves as a constant reminder as to what they could have been had they just done the work. So stop giving a shit what other people think. Focus on your action because that's what matters, not your talk, not your doubts, and especially not their chirping in the background. It's all about what you do. You have your vision, you believe it, and that's enough. This is why you can't expect people to agree with or understand you trying to accomplish big things. And I know, guys, it hurts. It hurts when people you love say they don't believe in you. But you're going to have to learn to be okay with, with, with people not understanding or trusting or believing your end result if you plan on getting anywhere in life. If you don't have passion for anything you do in life, you'll never ever succeed. You're eating, you're training, you're cardiovascular, everything in your body. Put that passion into it. That passion is gonna turn into your success. Because if you don't have passion, there is no success in anything you do in life, anything. So remember, whatever you put into your body is what you're gonna get out. You keep doing what the same thing you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you always got. Let's see. Nine months of straight hardcore training will do. Shaboom! Shaboom! Boom! Out! Shaboom! When you have a goal in mind and a goal set in your head, never let anyone take you off your vision, take you off your goal. You know why? Because you are unique, different, and special. Nobody knows how you think. Never let anybody talk down to you. Never let anybody bring you down. As long as you believe, you will achieve. You know, I strive every single day. I step foot into that gym for one reason. And it has to be the best bodybuilder that I can. You have 24 full hours in a day to make your fucking mark. Because the next 24 hours isn't guaranteed. You know, I've given up a lot in bodybuilding. I've given up friends. You know, I've given up going out, partying. You know, I was told I wasn't going to ever be a good bodybuilder. Nothing anybody ever said or did was going to stop me from accomplishing my goal. Don't let anybody or anything stand in the way of your goals or your dreams. The only person that can fucking hold you back is the person that's staring you in the mirror every single day. You're the one who has the key to do what you want to do and don't let anybody or any motherfucker stand in your way of what you want to accomplish in your life. When you really, really want something, when you truly love something and have a desire to, to make it happen and to move forward with it, you find ways. Remember that when you're thinking of bodybuilding. How much does this shit really mean to me? You know, if it's just a, a little side thing and you don't have a passion for it, you're not gonna you're not gonna make it happen. If the food's not around, you'll eat something shitty. If you're a little busy, you'll skip the gym. But if it means a lot to you, if it's a part of your life, it, it, that's, a, that's a big thing. It became a part of my lifestyle. If, if the desire and the passion is there to be better, to be, to be lifting, to make changes in your body, and that's a, one of the best feelings in the world, man. You can make a lot of money by nice clothes, by watches, by nice cars, that's great. But when you make changes in your body, it's a different feeling, you know? That's, you, money can't buy that, you know? Anyone can buy a nice car if they have the money. Anyone can buy nice clothes, but no, no one can buy a nice body. Even people that get surgery done, it never is the same, never looks the same. You have to be creative. You have to understand your muscles. You have to understand your system. You cannot let the weight control you. You have to control the weight. Because when you start going heavy, you're always mentally thinking, can I move this weight instead of working through the muscle and, and filling it with blood? Because you don't come to the gym just to do the reps. You come to the gym to sculpt your body. 
it's not just a matter of, of weight, it's a matter of work, hard work, proper shape and intensity. You got to keep your workouts intense because you want that butt be pumping into the muscle, you want to stress it. Always remember that you're not just moving the weight, you're working through your muscle. Always look for new methods of stressing your muscles because your muscles love the stress.